The logic gate has two inputs that I'm going to label A and B, and it has one output, Q. Appearing in front of you, you can see the template for a truth table. I will now highlight the inputs A and B when they're both zero, and this can be applied to the OR gate, as you can see here. Under these input conditions, the output Q will be a zero, and we will place this zero in the truth table here. The next possible combination that can appear at the input, this will give us a one, which will then appear here in the truth table. Let's now consider the next combination that can appear at the input, and we can see we'll get a one at the output, which will appear here in the truth table. This is the last possible state that could appear at the input to the R gate, and we'll get a 1 at the output, which I'm showing here in the truth table. We've got the R gate logic symbol and the R gate truth table. Memorize these.